All right. How did these old school Indian bodybuilders from the ages of, uh, in the 1930s become so jacked, so ripped, so shredded and had so much mind muscle connection control? Also, was it Indian bodybuilders that actually came up with the mind muscle connection in the first place? That's number one. And the other thing that's something absolutely brilliant that I haven't heard of in like a really long time, but I have in the past as well, is the whole visualization thing of how every single piece and morsel of food or something is considered to be energy that goes into your system and basically gets attached to different parts of the, uh, the body to actually increase power. How did these guys in the 1930s build such amazing, insane physiques without steroids? Let's understand and get right into it. All right, bro. So I'm actually going to start reading off the book and some of the most important parts of the book that are here at this point in time, right? And uh, hopefully on the side, uh, editor, please just ha have like an endless scroll wheel of like the pictures of all these guys going on mm -hmm. because their physiques are just absolutely mind boggling amazing. All right. So the name of this book, if, if someone wants a copy of this book, just Google me, uh, Instagram message me. My Instagram is uh, at intellectual.muscle. I'll send you a copy of the book that I found. It was actually pretty hard to get this. But yeah, the name of the book is Muscle Control and Barbell Exercise by Bishnu Charan Ghosh. And, and oh, so there's two of them. Muscle Control is by Bishnu Charan Ghosh. And Barbell Exercise is like the manual of how did they actually build these muscles and what exercises they do, what rep ranges, what training methodologies, etc., etc., which was by this guy, Keshub uh, Singh Gupta. Uh, I kind of want to mention one thing. Of course, I'm from India. I don't know if you've actually, I don't know if you understood that yet so far, buddy, but I am actually also from India. Um, yeah, no, but I, and I, of course, know a bunch of different people uh, that are from Bengal. These guys are from Bengal, right? West Bengal. So I know, I know a bunch of Bengali people or something. I'm not going to lie to you, man. I do not know very many Bengali people that have any kind of an impressive physique anywhere close to what these guys have. And the reason why I mentioned this is actually this, this kind of helped me eliminate some of my self-limiting beliefs and fears and everything about what is possible with my physique. Cause that's, that's the most important physique in the world, isn't it? Like, isn't it the most aesthetic, most important physique in the world? But yeah, honestly, you want to get rid of your self-limiting beliefs. And this is something that is really valuable and important to me because in the modern day and age, I don't see any of the guys in the current gyms or the current um, gear cycles and all the food amenities and everything available to them. I don't see them getting these results. But these guys from the 1930s that didn't even eat non-veg food, didn't even have high protein diets, um, didn't even have access to proper gyms, just had like the bare minimal basic weights. I think these guys are lifting as little as like 20 kilos or something of that sort. And look at the crazy physique that these guys have built. So it just kind of like goes into like the whole power of the mind and power of visualization and power of will control and everything else. And that's the part that I kind of want to get into as well. So we won't even get into the exercises and such as much as the whole, the, the, the mental aspect and the intelligence that these guys had in this entire game. Um, okay. General instructions, always try to coax and not force your muscles to grow. Excessive and rapid exercise is harmful. Avoid overexertion and go ahead slowly and intelligently. The whole mind-muscle connection thing. A few repetitions correctly performed is way more beneficial than any number done in a clumsy way. Please have a couple of videos of myself doing like some mind-muscle control connection reps uh, in any of my training that I've done recently. Walk up and down during intervals between exercises and massage the particular muscle after each exercise which I don't know what the massaging does. I do know that interset stretching is a thing that we've recently been studying about uh, in, in the mass literature and science and such. <clears throat> Individual training is better than classwork in the gym. The latter may produce average healthy boys, um, but you're doing the... Okay, let me just go into the details, right? Expert to see, right? keep the doors and windows open. Keep the doors and windows open. It's, uh, better to breathe through the nostrils, but if you feel exhausted, you can exhale through the mouth. Um, great exertion in the youth hinders the growth and brings a too early maturity which tends to shorten life really that's interesting that these guys felt that way okay gymnastic feeds hmm i wonder if that's because they were like explosive things oh no actually i don't really know why anyways we'll see simple food is the best this is the one that i wanted to talk to you about you can eat whatever you can digest and remember that you should eat to live and not live to eat and this is this hits home a little bit because last night i had like six cookies bro so at 15 years in and also making mad gains at this point in time, I'm still struggling here and there with my sugar control and cravings and diet and such. So um, yeah, it hits a little bit home. Keep your stomach easy, i.e. almost one fourth empty. With gradual development, if you really feel, not think, that you require more food, eat three or four times so that your digestive system may not be taxed, then masticate thoroughly what you eat. 
Try to enjoy your meal. Try to enjoy your meal. Feel that every morsel of food is supplying you with vitality, strength, and energy. Take a little rest before and after meals. At least seven hours of sleep are necessary for a student of physical culture. I have all of my guys uh, sleeping from six to eight hours. Uh, alcohol and other stimulants may produce and nobody above nine hours, by the way, that actually gets into negativity. So always eight hours, eight and a half, eight hours stops, no more than that. Alcohol and other stimulants may produce apparent developments, but their nerve poisons and weaken the system. Above all, try to cultivate willpower. This is literally, if you've gone through my dopamine detox videos, if you've gone through my how to cure your depression videos, if you've gone through my lose fat forever podcast, honestly, one of the best podcasts in terms of anything to do with fat loss in the world right now, then you know how important this video, this uh, part about cultivating willpower is. This is the part that everybody, including myself, struggles with, which is why I've come up with so many different methodologies to try and get around the whole willpower thing and to build it as much as I possibly can. Put will into everything you do and avoid all exciting thoughts. This is like the literal definition, but like 1930s non-scientific definition method of basically dopamine detoxing. If you can, just think about it. We have heard many... Haha. Uh -huh. We have heard many enthusiasts uh, murmuring for proper clothing, well-equipped gymnasiums, and so on, and attributing their failures to want of these things. Let us tell these friends of ours that no station in life is, bar is a bar to physical culture. Of course, a man may make better progress by working under pleasant conditions, but most of the failures are due to the fact that too much attention is paid to getting those pleasant conditions and too little to the method of work. Remember in the Loose Fat Forever podcast uh, and all the other ones that I've also mentioned as well, it doesn't matter whether you do a keto diet, a low carb diet, <clears throat> a PSMF diet, you do high intensity training, low intensity training, like everything works if you like believe in it and do it properly or something. Now, obviously, my training method methodology is like I made my methodology to be the most superior form of training for obvious reasons to get the absolute max results that you possibly can. But there are people. So let's once again, put that guy up there, bro, one month progress, because that was a guy when he started working with me day zero, didn't believe in it until day 30 when we had our second uh, call phone call. And again, he didn't believe in it. And I told him, yo, just believe and trust in the program that I have your best interest at heart and just just humor me for like one month. And then the second month, I basically got that message uh, that says, bro, one month, this progress is insane. I'll try and have the audio part about like him saying like the program will work for anyone and everyone. It's impossible that it won't work. But that's the same thing. You you have to believe in the thing. Okay. Now, so these friends of mine, no station life. Of course, a man may make better progress by working under pleasant conditions. Most of the failures are due to the fact that too much attention is paid to getting those pleasant conditions and too little to the method of work. <clears throat> this kind of goes into game and everything else as well. Oh, I wish there weren't wasn't enough racism. Oh, I wish I wasn't brown. Or I wish I wasn't like short. Or I wish I wasn't tall. Most of the stuff is happening because you're not even making the goddamn effort. You're not working on your social skills. You're not working on making yourself happy, fun, happier, funnier. All of these different things that make you interesting as a human being. Okay, <clears throat> barbell exercise. So I'm not going to go into this one. The other one, where's the other part? The mind muscle control. That one is a good one. And I kind of want to show you one more guy. Oh, this one. We have Jeff Cavalier, boys. Jeff Cavalier made a ca goddamn cameo, boys. It's the cameo of cameo, boys. Okay, cool. Uh, let's get back into mind muscle control because this is really, really interesting. Um, when you find time to sleep, take your bath, to take your meals, you can easily find your time for doing a little bit of exercise, which is no less important than any other dire necessity of life. Some will say it's too late. Then he goes into like different ages and stuff like that. And okay, this part is really interesting. Muscle controlling makes the muscle shapely and increases the power of application of strength. But I would like to call it the second stage of development for one should have big muscles before he starts controlling. Much has already been said about the development of muscles in the previous part and to follow them closely, what is required. Um, that's very nice. Okay, so here's the same thing. In my training program as well, I have everybody start off with like a strength hypertrophy model, not with the mind muscle connection alone and not with the hypertrophy model alone. Because like even with this guy just basically mentioned without all the science, you want that part, the mind muscle connection part to be secondary after you already have the muscles. That's when you want to learn how to control them and everything else. Um, then he goes into like the whole mind muscle connection and relaxation and everything else. Man, these guys is physique is just unbelievably impressive for all for how young these guys are and like how these guys do not have any of course they didn't have steroids in 1930s they didn't have any proper uh, ac uh access to food and protein high protein meals or something obviously they didn't have access to the gyms that we have and look at the kind of physiques that these guys have made just mind-bogglingly impressive guys if you're looking to get the actual best possible results that you possibly ever can 
I have guys that are putting on 50, 60 pounds in uh, three to four, into four to six months of us working together or something. I have guys losing 70 pounds in like four to five, six months of us working together. I have guys losing 30 pounds of fat and also gaining eight pounds of muscle. I have had the exact same results with my mom, with other uh, girls. I have my own body transformations uh, on the scale, on the screen in front of you at this point in time. Getting this stuff is really, really, really easy. The methods that I've found, it's taken me 15 years to find the most optimized methods of training, nutrition, supplementation, avoiding side effects and protocols. All of this stuff is supposed to be very, very easy. If you wanna maximize your results in the next 90 days, my calendar link is in the description box below. Fill that out, let's hop on a phone call and we can see where we can take you. Besides that, if you enjoyed this content, please help me out with a like, comment, share, subscribe, so on and so forth with the YouTube algorithm. And I shall see you all next time. Peace.